Whoa, okay. So we've got some Alexander Wang for 20 bucks. Well, adding this to the clock, we're grabbing these. That's crazy. And we're back with another episode of the $20 Sneaker Collection. And today's episode is one of the craziest episodes we've ever had. I've picked up some grails for prices that I thought were completely unbelievable. And we might also add a pair of sneakers to the clock, which is crazy. But before we get into that, this. Happy Bivin. Happy Christmas. It's the holidays, which means it's time to grab your family some gifts or yourself if you're selfish, which in my opinion is totally okay. And I've got some pretty solid recommendations for the sneakerhead in your life, even if that sneakerhead is you. Which again, it's okay. It's okay to be selfish sometimes. This backpack is a bag that I use all the time and I highly recommend it. It's their leather daily commuter and it comes in this black monogram look, which I think is fire. And one of the reasons that I love this bag in particular so much is because in the front of the bag, you can actually hold two full pairs of sneakers as well as all your tech in the back, like your laptop, your iPad, anything that you need to store in this special padded pocket. And what's crazy to me is that even with two pairs of sneakers, a laptop, and some tech supplies in here, this bag is still so small and compact, so it's super easy to travel with. It makes sense why they call it the leather daily commuter because it's leather and it's great for daily commuting. My puns are just out of control today. Plus, as with Soul Premises' other bags, this bag is TSA approved, which means you can bring it onto the airplane with you rather than having to check it underneath the plane, which means you can keep all your valuables underneath the seat in front of you or above in the overhead compartment. And so no matter what, you've always got eyes on your bag and you don't have to worry about your bag getting lost or stolen. So if you want to check out Soul Premise bags for yourself, which I highly recommend, I use them all the time, make sure to check out Soul Premises' latest promos. Don't forget to use code Seth for an insane discount off of your entire order. Of course, links to Soul Premise in the description below. I mean, seriously, it's crazy. There is so much literal fire in this episode, like these fire apothecary socks, which are literally fire that are dropping next Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time, that I can't even believe it. Like, this is an episode that I never thought would be possible with a starting sneaker collection fund of $164. The good news is, though, we did end up selling some sneakers over the weekend, which means we are able to grab some of the crazy shoes that you guys will see later on in the video. So the first shoe that we sold were the Air Jordan 13 Lucky Greens that we had picked up from Plato's Closet for 60 bucks. Somehow, I didn't expect this to happen, but we actually ended up selling this shoe for $107 on eBay. I didn't even get any offers for it, at least not reasonable offers. Someone just ended up buying it, which is crazy. But after having the shoe sit on eBay for like three weeks with pretty much no interest, I just thought it was a lost cause and I was gonna have to drop the price. But after fees and shipping, I was able to add $92.32 back into the sneaker collection fund. And after subtracting the original purchase price of the shoe, we're left with a net profit of $32.30. Then after that, we ended up selling the pair of Nike Dunk Highs, which I absolutely absolutely overpaid for. I bought these shoes for $80 at Buffalo Exchange and they ended up selling for $85 on eBay. Which honestly kind of surprised me because I thought that I was going to have to list these shoes for like $40 because I'm pretty sure you can grab these for retail or below retail on places like StockX. So the fact that we were able to sell them for $5 more than I bought them for is incredible. Now, that being said, we still lost money because after fees and shipping, we were only left with $74.54. But hey, it means that we only had a net loss of $5.40, which is way better than I thought it would be. And again, the reason that I grabbed these shoes was not because I thought they'd be a good seller, but because I grabbed this pair of shoes, I was able to grab a pair of pretty much brand new Air Jordan 1 mids, which ended up profiting us like $60. So all said and done, it was definitely worth it. But hey, after all of those sales, we're left with a new sneaker collection fund of $330.86, which is incredible. We're going to buy a lot of stuff today. Okay, so first thing we've got inside Play-Dohs today is a pair of Little Posits for 75 bucks. I'm not sure exactly what the colorway is for these, but I'm assuming it's something to do with like, I don't know, sprinkles or something, I don't know. But they're in good condition, just not gonna grab those. We've got some Pharrell's, the Tennis Hues, a shoe that didn't do that well. And it's priced at 20 bucks, which I think is exactly what I could sell it for, but still, cool to see. Got some Jordan Futures. We got some LeBrons over here, some, uh, what, LeBron 10s? A nice pink colorway, pretty clean, actually in really good condition. Let me see how much these are going for. So there's actually no price tag on these. And I don't know what to do. Let me check them out online to see if they're worth anything. If they're worth something, I'll take them up to the front and ask. Unfortunately, only going for like 30 on eBay, which I'm assuming is probably less than what they're going for here, but so cool to see. Whoa, okay, so we've got some Alexander Wang Adidas for 20 bucks, hold up. That's actually crazy. What size are we looking at? Size eight and a half. Let me check this out online, but I remember when these sold, they were going for like 300 bucks for retail. There's one that sold for $3, which is weird. I don't know if that's legit or not. And then one sold for 125, but for 20 bucks, they seem like they're in really good condition. And I feel like I'm willing to take the risk. So I'm gonna grab these guys. Let's check the bins today. Not good today, unfortunately. Always get to check though. 
Okay, so we're in Goodwill. And the first thing I'm seeing is a pair of Nike, I don't know, Tool Fusions. <laughs> don't really feel like I need these. What's the price though on these guys actually? Let me see. They are $12.99, probably not worth it. Got some tiny New Balance 327s. It's pretty funny to see. $4.99, really good condition though. So it seems like it's actually pretty cleaned out today. Like this wall is usually never empty, but the whole store is kind of empty. There's a lot of these, Vives. <laughs> Just kind of look like, um, I don't know, Reeboks, but yeah, I guess nothing today. There's some kind of beat 270s for nine bucks, but probably not worth it. Okay, so first day of the week. We didn't find too much, but we did find one thing, which I'm actually pretty excited about, but it's really like one of those, you know, hit or miss items. And that's this pair of Alexander Wang Adidas uh, something socks. I don't remember what these are called. They dropped in 2017, I think for like $300 retail. And I bought this pair for $20, which is not bad. And it's in really good condition, but I don't think the resale market is there but at the same time if we sell these for like 50 it's been worth it so hopefully we make some money off these guys i'm interested to see what'll happen i'm gonna make these a promoted listing to get as many eyes on them as possible so we will lose some money because we have to pay for promoted listing fees but not a bad pickup and uh as you guys saw nothing in goodwill it was just cleared out it was actually packed too it's two days after christmas and um i guess people are just doing their after christmas shopping at goodwill pretty solid spot but unfortunately nothing today there was a lot of people looking in the games too as you guys saw i saw a wii and uh i was thinking about grabbing it but i know every time i've seen a wii at goodwill it's been overpriced so i think i'm just gonna leave it but so cool to see it also didn't have any controllers that i saw so that would have really dropped the price as well but regardless it's a game console and you guys hate when i pick up game consoles so it would have been for myself <laughs> Okay, so I'm leaving home now because I just got a notification that the Play-Doh's closet that I usually go to is actually holding a pair of Yeezys for me. Now, this is a pair of shoes that I commented hold on like four days ago. I didn't think anything would happen because I expected the person who commented before me to actually pick them up. He didn't. I'm next in line, so I have to rush out to Play-Doh's closet and try and grab it before I think it's 5 p.m. It's like 3.50 right now, so we should be fine. But uh, yeah, unexpected turn of events. It's $100 for a pair of Yeezys. I'm gonna use some of my coupons and try and get them for like $80. And then I think I can sell them on StockX right now for like 160 in a size eight. It's still below retail. I mean, after fees, I still got like 140. So, but I mean, even right then and there, that's a $60 profit. If I sell them on StockX, I could probably even sell them on eBay for more. So first things first is to get the shoes and then uh, we'll find out how to get rid of them. So let's do it. Okay, so we got them. Huge shout out to the people over at Plato's Closet, the good people over at Plato's Closet. They're all really nice people, at least in my location, and it's always a pleasure to talk to them, say what's up. I got these Yeezy 700s. Now, they are a size eight, so it's not my size. I wouldn't probably keep these anyway because it's not a colorway that I'm in love with. It's really difficult to open these with one hand. Here's the front of the box, there's a the size tag. Let me open them really quick and I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, so here they are. It does look like they're brand new because they've got the tags on them. It doesn't look like they're tried on. The box is dented. That's the only issue, I think, um, other than that though, they look good. I'm just double checking them really quick. I don't see any Yeezy branding on the insole. I wonder if that's just standard for this kind of pair. Oh, it's there. It's just really dark in this colorway. So I do see that. So we're good. This does look like a legit pair. Of course, I am going to sell them through either eBay or StockX um, just so that they do get authenticated because it is a pair that could be faked. I don't think that it is though. So $80 for these. Like I said, I think I could sell these on the low end for at least $140 after fees, maybe even more. I'm going to go list these right now on eBay. And if they don't sell by tomorrow, then I'm just going to throw them up stock x and just move them. actually you know what honestly i might just throw them on stock x right now and then buy a pair of shoes for the collection but let me throw these up on stock x really quick and i'll get back to you guys in a second plato's closet never ceases to amaze me they always have amazing stuff well okay not always but most of the time they have amazing stuff and if you follow your local plato's closet online they usually have deals that uh in this case really worked out for us so before we get into that first i want to show you guys the alexander wang um adidas sock things. I don't remember exactly what they're called, but I listed them on eBay already. I grabbed these for 20 bucks, which is not bad. They're in pretty good condition. The heel is a little bit dirty and the midsole has a little bit of yellowing, but that's literally about it. I mean, there's barely any heel drag. And this is a shoe that I think when it first dropped, probably already said this like four different times in the video, but this shoe was retailing for like 250 to $300. Now it's um, pretty much going for like 50 bucks. But I mean, hey, if I can make $50 off this shoe, that means there's a net profit of like 25 or $20, which is not bad for a quick, hopefully quick turnaround. We'll see how long I have to sit on this shoe, but still a decent pickup in my opinion. But of course, the biggest pickup so far this week are the Yeezy 700 V3 Copper Fades. Now I've actually already sold this pair of shoes. I sold it on StockX as I walked out of the store I just made sure that the shoe was actually brand new and all that sort of good stuff and uh, I've shipped it so as I already said I grabbed these shoes for $80 instead of $100 from Plato's Closet because I had a leftover coupon from Black Friday I was able to use that and get them for $20 off and then I ended up selling
selling them on StockX to the highest bid at the time, which was $162. And what's crazy is that after fees, we were left with $140.99, which I know is less than retail, but let's be honest, it's not that popular of a colorway on a silhouette that's one of the less popular Yeezys. And if we had thrown these up on eBay, it would have taken a lot longer to sell. So we got a very quick profit. And after subtracting the original purchase price of the shoes, we were left with a net profit of $60.99, which is incredible for literally a 10 minute flip. Well, I guess actually it was closer to like a 30 minute flip because I had to drive there. It's like 15 minutes from my house, pick it up, which took about like four or five minutes, so maybe a 40 minute flip, but it was a very quick flip. And that flip means that we now have a new sneaker collection fund of $371.85, which is awesome. And that means that we can go to some higher end thrift stores in Center City, Philadelphia, like Second Street, which usually doesn't overcharge, but it's more than I usually have in the budget. And hopefully we find a pair of sneakers for the clock. Okay, so we are at Goodwill today, and the first thing that I'm finding is this pair of Pegasus for 15 bucks. Now, unfortunately, Pegasus don't really go for much, even if they're in good condition, so this is not a shoe that I think I'm gonna pick up, but if you're looking for a new pair of Pegasus, or a newish pair of Pegasus, maybe stop by Goodwill, because I find a lot of pairs of those at Goodwill's. Some sort of Nike running sneaker for eight bucks, not bad. Not sure what these are. Addy Preen, so these are some sort of Adidas. Bunch of random stuff today, but so cool to see. Oh, wait, hold up. Got some KD7s. Are these the eights? I completely forget, but for five bucks, a little torn, but not in bad condition. Let me check the price on these guys. So they are going for like 30 bucks, but in perfect condition online. So I think even though it's five bucks, probably not worth it. I probably would make my money back, but not much more. Not too much in the sneaker case today. A lot of the same stuff. We got some Hirachis, Air Force Ones, the Nike basketball things with the air unit at the front, and of course some Hardens. And then you got some Iversons back there, some mini Iversons, that's pretty cool. Dang. <laughs> it's like the 28th right now, so it's gonna be a minute. That's too bad. There should be one more thrift store in the area I'm gonna try. Get some Air Max 270X. Nice. Got some Asics, some Vans, some Adidas. Nothing crazy. That's kinda cool though. I don't know what that is. But fortunately nothing crazy as far as our shoes are concerned. I said fur instead of far, I meant far. <laughs> A bunch of people asking about these, size nine. 179, that's not bad. I'm gonna actually grab this for myself because I really want these. All right, so I am gonna grab these. Definitely. Come on. On the way, we got 12s for 129. That's crazy. What size? Size 10. Well, adding this to the clock, we're grabbing these. Let's do it. That's crazy. What a great day for pickups. That's crazy. They were kind of weird about me filming in there, so I didn't film as much as I would have liked, but crazy pickups, I'll show you guys in a second. Got some pretty crazy looking Air Force Ones. Pretty good condition. Size 8 for 40. It's not bad. Got some new balances. Looking brand new, close to brand new. For 30, one of these Nikes. Nothing crazy today. I can't tell what these are, but they're shiny, so let me see. Okay, these are Transformer somethings. I have no idea. Let me know in the comment section if I'm missing out, but I don't know if I should grab these. Let me check this out on eBay. Cool to find these Megatrons, but I'm gonna leave them. We got some bangers today. Now, unfortunately, only from one place, and that was Second Street, but I mean, still some of the best pickups we've ever had. So of course, you guys already know what we grabbed, but I waited to show you guys in more detail what we grabbed until now, because I wanted to give you guys close-ups of each one of these shoes, and of course, put one of them on the clock, which is pretty cool. But the first shoe that we grabbed was this pair of Bad Bunny Adidas Forum Lows. Now, this is a shoe that I saw a lot of comments in my last video. Hey, you missed those, and I was like, listen, you know what, I didn't check the price, I didn't even know they were there, but like, there's no way these are priced well. And they, if they are, they will definitely be sold out by the time I get back there. But for some reason, even though these are like $400 shoes, or I guess in this condition, maybe like $380 shoes, they were priced for 179 bucks. And the fact that they were still there a week or two, I think it was like two weeks after I first went, is crazy. And they're in really decent condition. I mean, they do have some sock lint, they do have some dirt on the outsole, of course some toe creasing, and weirdly enough, like a little bit of toe separation, which I've never seen before in a pair of forums. But uh, other than that, I mean, there's like not really 
really any staining on the upper. The shoe itself is absolutely still wearable, and it's a size 9, which is my size. So I'm not going to lie, I'm very tempted to keep these. And what's even crazier is that at the time of me buying these, I thought that there wasn't enough in the fund. I was like, well, I'm probably just going to have to buy these for myself because I'm sure we don't have enough, but we do. We literally have enough in the fund to actually grab these, which is mind-blowing to me. It actually makes things a little bit more difficult because when I thought we didn't have enough in the fund, I was just going to keep these and rock these. But now that we do have enough in the fund, I probably do have to flip these. Now, with that being said, if I flip these, I should be able to buy maybe two pairs of sneakers for the clock, but um, we'll just have to wait and see. So I've listed these on eBay. I grabbed these for 179 bucks at Second Street and I have them listed for like, I think either 390 or 407. I'm just accepting offers, seeing what happens. Obviously there's no box, but hopefully these move relatively quickly. And then of course we get to the clock sneaker, the shoe which I can't believe I actually found. So these are Flu Game 12s. These are from 2016. I've had, I actually have a pair in my collection right now, and actually one of the first pair of Jordans that I ever grabbed from Plato's Closet in the last series, like the beginning of the last series, it was a pair of Flu Game uh, 12s. Now these are a size 10, so they're not my size, but I could rock these if I have to. They actually look legit, like I made sure to look them over in the store, and I grabbed these for $129. If I were to buy these on GOAT, this probably would have cost me like $250-$300, um, and we got these for $129. So we get to add a pair of sneakers to the sneaker clock for an insane price. A pair that I really thought was going to be one of the last pairs that we were going to grab on the clock because it was one of the more expensive pairs, but we found it at Second Street. That just means I've got to start saving more money in the sneaker collection fund so that when I find crazy stuff like this, I can buy it. Because if I don't have money in the fund and I see these, like for example, in the first two or three episodes of the series, I found the Fire Red 4s, a shoe that we still don't have on the clock, and I just didn't have 200 bucks in the fund. I think I had like 100 something or maybe even 50. So there was no way to grab those, but man, today we got lucky. I'm so excited that we found these. I'm so happy that we have these on the clock. And you know what? Why don't I throw these on the clock right now? Which unfortunately means I have to go grab this stupid clock. I should ah, it's so heavy. It sucks. I should just put it on my wall like a lot of you guys were saying, but I own this house and I don't want to damage the walls. Oh man. Okay. All right. We've got the clock. As you guys can see, you can really only see the top of the clock, but, but we've got the infrared sixes, we've got the fives, we've got the threes, we've got the elevens, and we've got the tens, but we're missing a couple other sneakers. We're missing actually seven other sneakers until now. Now we've got the twelves, the very top of the clock, and our sixth sneaker on the clock, which means we're halfway there. There we go. The sixth sneaker on the clock. I wish I'd like laid this clock out better because that looks stupid like sitting off the top of the wood, but hey, you know, at least it's there. At least it's part of the clock. And I think I might actually create my own version of the clock with my own personal shoes because I'm not sure exactly what to do with this clock at the end of the series. I may give it away. I may sell it. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do because a lot of these shoes aren't in my size. So I guess it could be a nice wall piece. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm assuming a lot of you guys are going to say give it away, but hey, I'm so excited about the way it's coming out. I'm so happy with all the shoes that we have so far and there's another pair of shoes that I have my eye on that I've seen on GOAT for under retail that I might actually grab in between this episode and next episode depending on if we can sell some sneakers in between now and then but we'll just have to wait and see I can't believe how far we've come I really can't and I think we could probably finish off this series in like another like five episodes is that crazy that's less than the number of sneakers on the clock maybe that's too little well we'll know in five episodes whether I was right or wrong but we'll see but before I let you guys go we now have a new sneaker collection fund of $63.85 which yes is less than I would like but at the same time we've got some pretty crazy sneakers for sale on eBay so hopefully those move if they don't, then we've still got enough money to grab some more stuff at thrift stores and Goodwills and places like that. So we should be okay. But either way, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. And I'll see you all in the next one.